Creek Ecosystems In a creek ecosystem, all plants and animals rely on the existence of water to live. From fish who swim in the water, to animals that drink from the water. All animals are provided with what they need to live. The food chain plays a vital role in the ecosystem. Every part of the food chain counts. This is the giant water lizard. It is a top predator. A top predator is at the top of the food chain. It eats tertiary consumers. This is a freshwater crocodile. It too, just like the giant water lizard, is a top predator. Being a top predator, it is eaten by nothing in the food chain. It too eats tertiary consumers. This is a freshwater snake. It is a tertiary consumer. Tertiary consumers are second in line on the food chain. They are eaten by top predators. It eats secondary consumers. This is a freshwater tree frog. It is a secondary consumer. Secondary consumers are third on the food chain and are eaten by tertiary consumers. It eats primary consumers. This is the mosquito. It is a primary consumer. It is eaten by secondary consumers. It eats algae. And this little guy may seem small, but one bite from him and you start itching like crazy. Algae is at the end of the food chain, with the primary consumer eating it. It eats nothing but feeds on the warmth of sunlight for growth. Both bacteria and fungi are decomposers. They take the nutrients from dead animals, such as top predators, and put it back into the ecosystem, thus restarting the food chain. So even the tiniest little part of the food chain, like bacteria or fungi, does really count. Creek Ecosystem Climate A creek ecosystem usually has mild weather with reasonable amount of rainfall. During winter, it can happen that heavy rainfall occurs, and because of droughts, it is now not unusual to have very little rainfall at all. Plants The water in the creek helps plants like this one to grow big, green and luscious. These type of trees are home to many nests of birds and other creatures. This tree is bending towards the water. In any ecosystem that has the main source being water, the trees in that ecosystem will bend towards the water. Reeds Reeds are home to many types of insects and arachnids. The River Red Gum The River Red Gum is of the family of eucalyptus. 75% of river red gums have been wiped down in the past 100 years. While this one stands at only 10 metres tall, they can grow up to around 45 metres. Insects The Dragonfly Dragonflies control the population of harmful insects by eating mosquitoes, flies and bees. While adult dragonflies do not sting or bite humans, nymphs which are their babies, are capable of packing a harmful bite. The Butterfly The butterfly is most well known for its unusual life cycle of caterpillar to butterfly. Some butterflies have even evolved symbiotic relationships with social creatures, such as ants. The Mosquito The mosquito is an annoying little creature, but as you know, big things come in small packages. And as you probably know, with one bite from this little guy, you'll start itching like crazy. Both of these ducks have very bland colours, like white, black, brown and green, which creates wonderful camouflage and protection from predators. Bird Species Creeks are home to many species of birds, including ducks. When going down to Gardner's Creek, I found many species of birds, including this one, this one, this one, this one, these ones, 
again this one reptilians turtles turtles are amphibious creatures which means that they can live both on land and in water turtles are one of the species with the longest lifespan in the world their hard shell is grown from their ribs lizards this lizard is in a frozen position it is in this position so that it absorbs light and heat from the sun. It needs to do this because it is a cold-blooded creature. This is a frog. It, just like the turtle, is an amphibian. And just like the lizard, is cold-blooded. Human destruction is a terrible thing. Even the littlest creeks are affected. This tree has collapsed by a shortage of water. If we didn't put so much greenhouse gas into the air, then climate change wouldn't be so bad, and this plant, which I'm sure was big and tall, wouldn't be gone, and we would still be able to enjoy it. Pollution is another great issue in the world today. From Coke bottles, to orange peels and styrofoam cups, and even spray paint cans. People are careless and don't think of the lives of the animals that they are destroying. So put in an effort to respect the environment, save these beautiful animals, and please keep our creeks clean.